2008 Ford Explorer Sport Track with the 4 liter V6 rear wheel drive and today we're going to be replacing the lower oil pan gasket. Let's get to it. All right, lower oil pan underneath the vehicle. All right, this is a pretty straightforward process. I honestly don't know if I even really need to make a video about this. Um, I just wanted to just in case there was somebody that needed help. Uh, this is the lower oil pan gasket that we're going to be replacing. That is these bolts right here going all around. If you are looking for a video about the upper oil pan gasket, I will not be covering that. Uh, that is a 13 hour job and requires you to drop the transmission. I'm fairly certain. Uh, so it's kind of a big job. Um, that's not what this vehicle needs. But in the future, if I do run into that, I will, of course, try to make a video for that. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. First thing you need to do is go ahead and drain your oil out. I already did that. I believe this was a 13 millimeter, but forgive me if I'm wrong. But go ahead and drain your oil out, put your drain plug back in, and we're gonna get started on these 10 millimeter bolts lining the lower oil pan. get ourselves a little universal attachment to get these ones on top of the steering rack. I think my pry bar was a little bit too thick, so I went ahead and got myself a small to medium sized flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna try that instead. Oh yeah, that's working immediately. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to bend this metal down. So we're going to just work our way around here. Just give it little bits of wiggles, and now I can put my pry bar in there. And we can just start slowly working our way around the lower oil pan gasket with our pry bar. And I promise you, I did drain this oil, so I'm kind of impressed that there's somehow still oil inside of it. And I'm just going to keep on working around. Let this drain out onto my pig blanket that I got down here because there shouldn't be a whole lot in there. I'm hoping I'm right about that. And I just somehow found a secret gallon of oil. Be careful how loud I talk. U.S. troops will be here soon. Seriously, how much oil is left in here, man? How's that even possible? I let this thing drain for like three hours. Anyway. After you get it to a certain point, you'll be able to feel that it's just ready to come out. And from there, you can just reach up there and grab it. Go ahead with your, with your oil pan. And just work this thing off around here. This appears to have been RTV'd on as well, which is not supposed to be done like that. And also makes me really not want to clean this because this is going to be a pain in the butt. gasket scraper on this to get the rest of this off and we're just gonna 
clean this off with a wire brush wheel and uh, we might do the same to the RTV that's left up here. We'll see how it goes. I, I probably will, but we'll see. First thing I need to do is clean up this oil mess. All right, we got our oil pan. Go ahead and remove whatever's left of that gasket that was on there. Um, for whatever reason, it looks like that these actually might be timing guides for the chain that hard plastic I'm gonna have to let the customer know about that because that might be a big issue um, in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up the best we can it looks like they used RTV to help seal that gasket you should not need to do that uh, if the gasket is not enough then something is wrong with the oil pan and it would need to be replaced or resurfaced uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and start scraping this crap off All right, and go ahead and start working on this RTV. Best tool for the job, get yourself a gasket scraper. These are like $8 at your local repair store or local auto parts store. And I had to sharpen mine a little bit because mine came with a pretty dull tip on it for some reason, but they should be kept fairly sharp. And this is just gonna help you remove the mass parts of these uh, RTV disasters like this. Now that we got the majority of this off, we can go ahead with our uh, wire brush wheel and start working on this. I think I'm actually going to move this over to my workbench where I can actually lock this in place. Tiny particles washed away. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be as flat as possible. If you run your hand along it like this and you feel a snag, that side needs to be smoothed down a little bit more. Other than that, I'm gonna throw the gasket on here and get ready for the reinstallation. All right, we got our new oil pan gasket right here. Here's your part number from Felt Pro. Pretty nice setup in general. We got our oil pan all clean, all ready. And this is going to be our part number for our oil pan gasket from Felt Pro. Right there for you. Let's go ahead and slap this thing on. Mm, this way. Now this does have a pretty cool thing with these little rubber nipples that they actually have holes they line up with and you can press them through and it'll lock this entire 
gasket into place. Oh, Alright, looks like there's four of them. I thought there was only two. And there you go. Again, you should not need to put RTV on these. If this gasket is designed to work without RTV. You do not need to put RTV on this. If you install this new oil pan gasket and it is leaking, there's more than likely an issue with your oil pan. So just be careful with that. And make sure that you torque it down in proper sequence. That's gonna make another really big difference. Let's get to it. All right, I'm coming here with our wire brush wheel. Get this RTV out of the bolt holes as best you can. And that's looking pretty good actually. Hit this up with some brake clean. Not just the areas that we were trimming down, but all the areas around it because we need to get all those little pieces of RTV that flew off everywhere. We need to make sure that they do not contaminate any other part of the engine. Like this. And give all of this a nice spray down. I'm gonna let that dry off and we'll be ready to install our gasket. And of course, when installing these bolts, go ahead and start every single one of them by hand, just a couple of turns. Do not put any of these down tight until all of them have been started by hand a couple turns. Because the car gods will see that and they will make it magically happen where the last bolt will not line up. I'm just letting you know what it's gonna be. Don't believe me if you don't want to, it's up to you. Just letting you know what's gonna happen. Right, we're gonna start by putting these down. Right there. Crisscross back to here. Right here. In this corner. Mm, that's stuck in my glove. Got something in my eye. Give me a second. All right, where was I?
One thing I noticed about our gasket set that comes with a new something I realized I'll go ahead and remove the uh, drain plug because we got a new drain plug gasket it turns out these are actually serviceable just need a pick and to not be scared of impaling any of your fingers you can get this one off place it with our new one Nice. And that's pretty much all there is to replacing your oil pan gasket on this vehicle. If you're at this step following along with me, congratulations, you just replaced your own oil pan gasket. I knew you could, I didn't doubt it for a second. If you'd like to see more videos on this vehicle, go ahead and check out this video next, right there. I made that one just for you. Other than that, if this video helped you out, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time.